Hi, I'm Namrata Parohit and welcome to my channel. Today is the day we're going to talk about flat abs and how you can get them. All of us, of course, want lovely toned abs, abdominal muscles and also a lean stomach. Nobody wants to have that belly, but everyone wants toned tight abs. So this video is going to basically give you some exercises that's going to help you get that tone in those abdominal muscles. So of course, remember, core engaged always so pulling your stomach in pulling your pelvic floor up and breathing throughout the movement make sure you're staying in your neutral position shoulders relaxed and no not doing weird things with your neck and head so we're going to start lying down so i just want you to lie down on your mat legs hip distance apart so not too wide not too narrow hip distance knees connected but not together what i mean by connected is your inner thigh connection basically no flopping them outwards keep them connected roll down slowly and find your neutral position from there we're going to start with an exercise that we've also done in the warm up called the ab prep put your hands be in your head inhale to stay exhale engage your core muscle so exhale gentle and pull your stomach in pelvic floor up inhale to stay there hands behind your head and you're going to exhale to come up inhale down exhale up two we're going to do 20 of these now exhale three four five i hope your stomach's pulled in six and seven eight nine 10 10 more 10 remember not to jam your chin in 9 8 hands behind your head only for gentle support 5 4 3 2 stay up there and pulse small movements just pressing your pencil as i keep saying in and up and up 7 8 9 10 we go for 10 more 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 stay there we go into your obliques twist 1 2 3 keep your neck long so that it doesn't hurt it your neck will start hurting if you leave it back keep it supported 7 8 9 10 10 more 10 9 8 exhale 7 6 breathe 5 core engaged 4 3 2 and 1 and relax so we're doing the toe taps so i want you to take your legs up to the tabletop position basically in the tabletop position you have a 90 degree angle with your calf and your hamstring so it's a 90 degree angle you maintain that position inhales to stay like the name suggests exhale you toe tap so take one leg down tap it to the ground get it back up when you take the leg down make sure you don't extend the back it should stay neutral so exhale down inhale up 3 inhale up of course This can be very challenging if you connect your core correctly. If you're doing it wrong, you're just going to rock. So keep it connected slow. 4 Exhale 5 6 Inhale up, exhale down 7 8 Keep your neck long and relaxed. 9 Back in the neutral position. 10 Core engaged. Exhale. Ten. Nine. Eight. So this is of course working your hip flexors as well. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay there in your tabletop, and we're going to do the one leg circle. keeping your legs stable top one leg straight up we're going to do circles exhale one small nice circles two 
stay neutral no rocking of the pelvis this stays neutral three four and five reverse if this is very challenging you can keep one leg down just to get more stability and get the movement first four and five change leg if you can of course you should maintain the tabletop one two three four five and reverse five four three two and one so that's your one leg circle no rocking core engaged now you know what the tabletop position is and you've done the ab prep and obliques. So we're going to put both these things together. Get your hands behind your head. Exhale and slowly crunch up. Stay there. One leg up to tabletop. Take the other leg up. Maintain your neutral. Keep that position. We're going to do the single leg stretch. As the name suggests, stretch one leg out and bend. One. Two. Exhale. Three, no rocking, four gentle movements, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, staying neutral, nine, eight, I'm sure your cores are firing because mine definitely is, six, five, Four, three, two more, two, and one, and relax slowly. From there, we're going to come up and we're going to do the half roll back. So sitting tall, back straight, hands straight in front of you. All you do is roll back halfway, exhale, inhale, come up. Core is engaged, I'm exhaling to roll back, so I'm scooping, think someone's punched you. Inhale up, don't drop your chin down, keep looking straight, exhale, three, inhale up, four, really connect your core, five, six, shoulders relax, don't hack them, don't round them, keep them in place, seven, eight, two more, Nine and ten. Now this movement is really important to be able to get the next exercise. The next one is a little bit of a challenge. It's called the rolling like a ball. You basically roll like a ball. So you put two movements together. One is the rolling back. The second is the crunch, the ab prep. So remember, you have to scoop. If you do not get this scoop, you're going to be like a flat tire. You don't want to be a flat tire, you want to roll. The tire should roll. So, your legs come up a little bit off the ground. Hands under the uh, ankles. Think there's a little brick here, or ball here. Keep that distance. Don't jam it in, don't extend it up. Keeping it there, hands here. Exhale down. Inhale, hold. Inhale up. Down. Inhale up. Down. Inhale up. Let's do a few more. Exhale down. Inhale, hold. Down. Don't be a flat tire. <laughs> Roll. It should be nice and smooth. Make sure your head is also rolled because otherwise you're going to hit your head on the ground, which we don't want. Few more. Last one. Let's go for it and come up now if you've got this exercise you really need to clap for yourself and this is how you clap after this exercise because it's challenging but in a really fun way so you know you've connected your core you know you've got your round back if you've got this exercise correct without being you know plonking on the ground or hitting your head this is a really nice exercise to just put everything you've learned together We've done a couple of core exercises. These are all the basic Pilates exercises. These are the beginner level exercises, but if done correctly, they are challenging. Till date, I find them challenging. It all depends on how well you use your Pilates principles and how well you engage your core. Every exercise can be done in a right and wrong way. If done right, these are fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and 
do these ones regularly. Try and do them at least three or four times a week. And if you can, even twice a day to get the results that you desire. Hope you enjoy this and come back for the next set of exercises, which is going to be the sexy back exercise. See you soon. And as I keep saying, kiss. Keep it safe, simple and smart.